hello friends welcome to stack developers youtube channel and in this video i am going to tell you that how you can install laravel 11 so finally laravel 11 has been launched and you can see that i just able to install it okay with php 8.3 version though the minimum requirement is php 8.2 so in this video i am going to tell you about the steps that you can take to install laravel 11 okay so there are three things that you must install uh, one is the install zamp or vamp or any other apache server and the next one is install composer and the finally you can able to install laravel 11 okay so i'm going to first tell you that uh, you can install the zamp or vamp server uh, simply you can open the apachefriends.org website or you can simply search the install zamp here okay so zamp is the best server uh, as it's my personal opinion okay so you can install see if you have the windows then you can go for this latest version minimum requirement is php 8.2 and if you have linux then you can go for this one and if you are having the mac operating system that is right now i'm going to install this one okay so you can simply download it and you can after that you can able to install it i hope that every laravel developer must know about it okay so you can simply download it and install it and uh see that, that thing i have already done and it's already running in my system i'm going to share you i'm going to show you that in my zam here in uh, see this i have already installed earlier on okay so it's already there in zam you can see you can go here and you must run your uh, that zam server okay here i'm going to log in with my uh, system password and here you can see that my zamp is running okay so here you can see that you need to run the apache server as well as the mysql database okay so both must be running okay so i'm going to run the mysql database uh, sorry my uh, mysql database as well as the apache server so both must be running okay to connect the uh, to connect the database with the laravel okay so uh, so it's fine so after that what i will i will go inside and will make sure that the composer is installed or not and for that uh, there is one website and you can check in the video description as well okay uh, so that you can uh, able to know the steps that you can check i'm going to show you the steps as well uh, here are few of the steps that you can take so these steps are written in the video description as well you can simply follow these steps and can install laravel 11 as well so first one is that we have already done that that uh, you must install the zamp or vamp server okay we have already having the zamp server after that okay we will install the brew okay so this is the link uh, that you will find in video description that you need to open okay so once you open then this is the command that you are required to copy from here and open your terminal here open the terminal and in terminal you need to paste this command to install the brew okay so this is the first thing see brew is also already installed in my system but see uh, just for the sake of understanding so i'm going to give the password here of my system password once again so here you can see that it will tell uh, it will it, it will try to download and install the home brew you can see it may update my brew as well and it will take few seconds so once the brew get installed then you can able to install the composer as well so composer is required to install the laravel as well as the packages uh, in laravel okay so here my brew is installed now okay so now i can easily install the composer okay so let's go to the next step so this is the website that you can follow to install the composer but there is a simple command that you will find brew install composer so this is a simple command that you need to run okay brew install composer so it will install the composer in your system in your mac operating system okay so after installation of the composer then final command is in front this is the final command that you are required to give okay so i'm going to open the laravel.com as well and will show you the same steps are given in the laravel.com website as well okay you are just required to go to the documentation and after that you can check in the installation so uh, go down and you can see this is the command that you are required to give to install the laravel 11 okay but you need to make sure that you have the zam as well as uh, uh see you have the apache server as well as the composer must be ready okay so see 
so it is installed in composer and that will take few minutes okay see that is already installed but uh, i think it is installing again okay so uh, just uh, for your understanding i am installing it again you can see now the composer has been installed and now we can install the laravel 11 so there is the another command that we must run this is the command that we must run the composer command uh, uh, so see here here is the composer here is the command and here is the project name okay so blog is the project name that we need to uh, give so the same command you can see here as well in the laravel uh, website okay so uh, see here i'm going to run here uh, i'm going to create here uh, the laravel folder i'm going to right click on sd docs and new terminate folder here i'm going to run this command uh, laravel 11 command i'm going to run i will copy from here and will run the command uh, here okay inside the sd docs okay so uh, here i'm going to give the project name laravel 11 okay so it will take few seconds to install laravel 11 here you can see the laravel 11 has started uh, okay installing so it will take just few seconds uh, so you can see it installs the packages uh, that is required for laravel 11 and uh, see it automatically sets the key as well and automatically uh, created the tables as well and auto automatically connects it with the sql light database as well so all these kind of things we are going to learn in the laravel 11 tutorial that we are going to start uh, very soon okay so uh, now also i will go inside sd docs and we'll check here the laravel folder has been created okay so we have uh, see uh, given its project name as laravel uh, okay project name is laravel here okay so see we have entered the space so that's why uh, so the project name has been created with the laravel okay so now i'm going to run this one i'm going to right click services new terminate folder and then i'm going to run uh, here php artisan serve to see whether see it starts running i'm going to check here now uh, so here you can see the laravel has been installed laravel 11 has been installed okay so you can see uh the laravel cast laravel news web and ecosystem okay everything seems to be perfect so i want to tell you that i that minimum php a requirement is php 8.2 so you need to make sure that your uh zamp or vamp server must be at least php 8.2 so here you can see the php 8.2 okay so so that's why we able to install it and uh see for checking the laravel version we can again click here right click services new terminate folder and now you can simply check php artisan version here you can simply check it like this and here you can see the laravel framework 11.0.0 version has come okay so uh, you can able to install the laravel like this so uh, so you can also assess uh, the windows if you want to install the laravel 11 in windows then you can check in video description i have already provided its link as well okay and very soon we are going to start the laravel 11 with mongodb as well so please stay tuned for that that's all for now have a nice time goodbye